بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا وبعد Now, ayuhal ikhwa, that the last 10 days of Ramadan are upon us uh, During the last 10 days, of course I'm sure you're acquainted with the fact that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Shadd al-Mi'zar That he would tighten his izar Ahl al-ilm, ayuhal ikhwa, they mention And that is a reference to him Staying away from or refraining from his women folk and that he would increase in ibadah these last 10 days ikhwa, are from the days and the nights particularly that an individual each and every one of us ikhwan, each and every believer he should strive to benefit from the last part of Ramadan particularly if he didn't benefit from the earlier part of Ramadan as much as he, as he could have and so the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he would increase in ibadah in the last ten. Indeed, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was ajwadun nas. He was the most generous of the people. Wa kana ajwadu ma yakun fi Ramadan. And he was the most generous in Ramadan. If it is that we haven't been charitable throughout Ramadan or given any sadaqah, then we still have this period, ikhwan, to utilize to help and to aid in the way of good. Similarly, in terms of our qiyam and our standing and our ibadah and our qira'atul Qur'an, if we did not capitalize as much as we could have in the earlier part of Ramadan, then let us capitalize upon these last days. This could possibly be our last Ramadan, ayuh al-ikhwa. We do not know what lies behind Ramadan if we will even see the end of it and so this period then Ikhwan the mu'min is astute and he recognizes that Allah Azza wa Jal has blessed him with this mausim and with this period of good and so he capitalizes upon it indeed in these last 10 days ayuhal Ikhwa we have that great night that Allah Azza wa Jal mentions in the Quran and that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam refers to in the Sunnah Laylatul Qadr. The night, ayuhal ikhwa, that Allah Azza wa Jal informs us is khayrun min alf shahr, is better than a thousand months. And that is anyone who establishes worship upon that night, then it is as though he will have established worship over the period of a thousand months which is equivalent to 83 years of ibadah. 83 years. That which, ayyuhal ikhwa, Allah Azza wa Jal took from this ummah in terms of lifespan, and that which he decreed for the lifespan of this ummah, yani that it would be shorter than the earlier umam, Allah Azza wa Jal blesses us with that night by way of it we can yani, capitalize upon one night that would give us the length of worship. Ayuhal ikhwa, if we catch a few Ramadan and we catch Laylatul Qadr over a few Ramadan, then those umam that used to live for more than a hundred years, two or three hundred years as is narrated in some narrations, and some of them even longer, then Allah Azza wa Jal has blessed this ummah with one night. If we catch it, it is as though, ikhwan, we have caught 83 years of ibadah. Fadl wa khair, ikhwan. Fadlun azim. The Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned that indeed I was shown Laylatul Qadr, but it was removed from me. And perhaps it is better for me, or for you. The fact that the, the night itself is a night that is not known. But he said that you should look for it in the odd nights of Ramadan. And searching it out in the odd nights of Ramadan, of course, is better than for us to know, for example, that it is the 25th night, or the 29th night, or the 27th night. For indeed the believer will strive and increase in striving upon good, striving throughout the nights of Ramadan in order to catch that night. 
And that, brothers and sisters, is without doubt from khair. The Prophet wasallam likewise informed us of its alamat and of its signs. It is established that from its signs is that it is a, a beautiful, mild night. It is not too warm, neither is it cold. It is a medium, mediocre temperature, like the night of Tihama, which is a night that is of medium temperature, a nice climate. Similarly, the Messenger وسلم, informed us of the fact that on Laylatul Qadr, the following morning, the sun will rise without rays. And that is that it rises resembling a bronze disc. It rises without rays for a period until it reaches somewhere in the middle of the sky and then the rays, it, they begin to shine. The Messenger والسلام, he likewise mentioned that on Laylatul Qadr, the Malaika on earth are greater in number than the stones that are upon earth. And some of Ahl al-Ain, they mentioned that perhaps that is the reason why the sun when it rises in the morning it has no rays. Because the angels they ascend in the morning. And it is, as some of Ahl al-Ain have mentioned, it is perchance the ascending of the angels that prevents the rays. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. That though, Ikhwan, which is a regular and a common mistake with many of the brothers and the sisters, is that they concentrate upon the odd nights of Ramadan, believing that Laylatul Qadr will never fall except upon an odd night, or what we perceive to be an odd night. As far as it being restricted to a particular day or a particular night, then na'am from Ahl al are those who held that it is one night in Ramadan every year, and that is the 27th night. And then from Ahl al-Ilm are those who hold that it fluctuates, and that it changes from year to year. And what is used in that regard is a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, on a year, he was shown that Laylatul Qadr would be a rainy night, or the morning would be followed with rain. And the Sahabi who narrated the hadith, he mentioned that I remember seeing mud running down the face of the Messenger وسلم, when he rose from Sajda, when he sat back from Sajda. And that was on the 21st night, which has in it an indication of the fact that it is possible for Laylatul Qadr to fluctuate throughout the months or from month to month from year to year. As we mentioned, Ikhwan, one of the mistakes that is commonly made is that we concentrate upon the odd nights. And so in the last 10 days of Ramadan, the odd nights, as it relates to the beginning of the month, the masjid is full. And the even nights, the masjid is empty. Or it is, yeah, and it has a medium-sized congregation. And that is a khata, Ikhwan, a mistake. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala he explains the fact that it is possible for Laylatul Qadr to fall upon an even night. It is possible for Laylatul Qadr to fall upon an even night. And that is because of the fact that oftentimes, yani how is that? Ordinarily we look in terms of enumerating the days from the beginning of Ramadan. But Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, as a cousin Majmu' al-Fatawa, he explains the fact that the Prophet sallallahu he commanded to seek out Laylatul Qadr in the last 10 nights of Ramadan, last 10 days. And we should ref remember the fact that every Ramadan has a last 10 days. But some Ramadan end on 29 days and some end up on 30 days regardless of how Ramadan ends it always has a last 10 and so if it is a 29 day Ramadan 
it has a last 10. A complete last 10. And if it is a 30 day Ramadan, it has a last 10. Of course, as it relates to the 30 day Ramadan and the last 10, it begins from the 21st night. While a 29 day Ramadan, the last 10 begins from the 20th night. And so regardless of how Ramadan ends, it always has a last final 10 nights. And thus that which we may perceive to be, as it relates to the beginning of Ramadan, the odd night of Ramadan, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah mentions that some of Ahl al-Ilm look towards enumerating the last 10 nights with a view to the last night. Is it a 29-day Ramadan or a 30-day Ramadan? In which case, Laylatul Qadr, it is possible, will fall on a night that we wouldn't believe it to fall upon. And of course, the numbers of the days of that year is an affair that is in the hands of Allah Azza wa Jal. No one knows that but Allah Subhana. Is it going to be a 29 day Ramadan this year or a 30 day Ramadan? And so he reasons around the fact that it is possible that Laylatul Qadr can fall upon a night other than an odd night. That is something, Ikhwan, that is uh, very possible. And some riwayat as occurs in the Mustadrak of Imam Hakim and others mentioned that the Qur'an was revealed on the 24th night of Ramadan, which is an even night, if we're looking from uh, uh, the beginning of Ramadan. And so, the affair of seeking out Laylatul Qadr, Ikhwan, is something that we should consider the whole of the last 10 nights. And not miss out, Ikhwan, on this, this tremendous night. A tremendous night that if an individual loses out, upon the khair of that night, then he has truly lost out. 83 years, or that which is equivalent to 83 years of ibadah, the one who loses out on that, he has truly lost out. And we didn't mention, though it is implicit in the hadith that we discussed, that from its signs is that it is a rainy night. That is mentioned by some of Ahlul Ilm, that from its signs is that it is a rainy night. And so it is of medium temperature. It is a night, ayyuh al ikhwa, that is, the uh, 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 night is filled or the earth is filled with malaika, a night, ikhwan, that is followed with the sun rising without rays. One that we should capitalize upon and try and strive to catch. And not allow the shaitan to beguile us, ikhwan, in these last ten nights. Nasallah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa fikna wa iyaakum lima yuhibbuhu wa yirda wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabina Muhammad wa akhir da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.